Today we talk back pain, but not just any lower back pain. We're talking back pain when you round the spine. So activities like bending, sitting, or picking stuff up. Now you might be wondering, why do these activities get painful all of a sudden? After all, they haven't always been painful. Often lower back injuries are a result of several micro offenses that add up to a macro injury over time. Simply put, it means that one time that you may have bent over to pick up something seemingly trivial and tweaked your back, it was likely a long time coming and there was a lot of factors that went into why that happened. With that being said, the question is how can we help prevent this from reoccurring or potentially getting worse? Well, we know that flexion or rounding of the spine is currently irritating your lower back. So in order to relieve said symptoms, we need to reduce, modify, or eliminate the loaded flexion movements throughout your day. No, I'm not saying to stop bending altogether. I'm just saying for the time being, while we are allowing our lower back tissues to kind of settle down, that we be more conscious of the movement quality when we are bending or flexing the spine. To kickstart this recovery process, we're gonna go over the top three things that you're most likely doing that's irritating your back the most. All right guys, we're gonna combine number one and two. Number one is going to be bending over and number two is going to be bending over to pick something up. For bending, we're gonna keep this real simple. We wanna make sure that we're hinging from the hips and not just dominating the bending movement from a rounded spine. Again, rounding the spine isn't a huge deal normally, but since you are currently flared up from it, we do wanna keep that to a minimum. So how we're gonna clean this movement up a little bit is you can grab a broom or a dowel Grab with the top hand facing, palm facing forward and the bottom hand, palm facing out. And what we're gonna do here is put the bottom hand on the back of your pelvis and we're gonna put the top hand on the back of your head. Now, when we move from the hips, so when we go backwards, like you're pushing someone away from you, we are keeping the dowel touching those two points the entire time. This little movement can help you master the movement of the hip hinge so you don't have to do it in the mirror and wonder if you're doing it right. And for number two, we have picking stuff up. Now we're gonna use that hinge that we just learned to do this more effectively. So instead of bending over with the flex spine to get this, we are going to move from the hips. And one pointer, make sure the item you're picking up is not super far away. That is increasing your lever and ergo increasing the amount of stress on the back. So we wanna be as directly over the object as we can. Again, we are going to initiate the movement from the hips. We're gonna come down, make sure the shoulders are nice and tucked, grab the item and come up. And last but not least, number three, the seated position. Two things to look out for with the chair is make sure that the hips and the knee are parallel. If we have the knees higher than the hips, this is gonna put more stress on the lower back and as far as where we're sitting, if we are sitting on the very edge of the seat, this again is gonna put more stress on the lower back. Now, as far as positions go, we really wanna make sure that we are just varying our positions. Even a perfect posture position over a prolonged period of time can become a stressful position. So that means that we need to Make sure you are getting out of the chair as much as possible and walking around whenever you can. And as always, thank you so much. If you made it this far, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.